Now that spring is here, I feel myself shifting into new beginnings filled with grand promises and lots of love. With the sun beaming out and warm weather wrapped around my skin, I am remembering the beauty that is within my life. Heading into winter this year was an anxious time for us. We had just moved into our camper and were extremely overwhelmed with the thought of anything going wrong within our new lifestyle. We were stationary all winter and had to face brutal temperatures. Our skirting held on for dear life as we managed our way through frozen pipes and learning curves. Thankfully, everything went as smoothly as it could go as beginners in this lifestyle. We found solutions to our problems and managed to learn more about ourselves and our home through the adversity. I am so proud of us for everything that we have accomplished leading up to this point. This makes me wonder why. Why do I worry about things so hard? Maybe this spring I will learn more self-trust with myself as we transition into a traveling lifestyle. I am so grateful we did everything how we did and took our time completely with moving in. We took a year to let it sit in storage as we formulated a plan and got to renovating. We decided to stay stationary in our hometown for the following year so we could work out any kinks that we needed to have figured out. Saying goodbye is so hard when we feel like we have built so much here. There are so many more things to look forward to rather than to worry about though. And I think that's a lesson that spring teaches me. To move forward and to not fear change or growth. That this was always part of the bigger plan within our lives. I know that these lessons of life only build me up into the woman that I am meant to be. I trust in a higher vision for myself and I pray that everything continues to go smoothly and we continue to build the tools that help us within this lifestyle. I want to continue to grow like the wildflowers that bloom in the springtime. My evolution within myself will reflect the life that I choose to live. I plan to make the most of my time here on earth and living this lifestyle gives me that ability and freedom. Nobody can take that from me. The feelings of doubt come up and I can choose to let them go as I face this adventure of life. It's such a different life than I ever could have pictured for myself. But my life was never easy. I can confidently say that I am enjoying my adulthood more than I ever could have enjoyed my childhood simply because I am the one in control of my destiny. The more in tune with my body I get, the more everything flows exactly the way that I have always dreamed but never could have thought was possible. I am so grateful to have gotten this far in my life. Mundane struggles can make us forget how blessed we really are, but hearing the birds alive and well outside can aid our hearts into remembrance of the bigger picture. This grand gesture that is our life is simply a miracle. The way the earth is able to shed its skin and birth itself into something new can be reflective of our inner world. I truly believe that this life is a mirror within our deepest aspects. 
All right, I let my camera charge and I got my coffee. So for today, I am going to instruct a class. I still have to write up my class. I have it all written in my notes, but I like to do pen to paper just so I can memorize it a little bit better. It is a 45 minute yoga sculpt class, which is basically just like weightlifting with yoga movements. So it's a really nice balance of everything. I really wanted to sit down and talk about the goals that I have for this channel. I am really, really excited. I found a new kick of life in me after going to the park yesterday with Callie. And I really want to put a lot of effort into my main channel videos. I want to keep still trying to diversify them while still having fun. I finally got the nerve to post my channel on my personal social media platforms for my family and friends to see. I was just so scared for so long because I just haven't always had the most confidence with what I'm doing. Especially when I was in the seventh grade, like my whole family made fun of my YouTube channel. Hashtag fashion for Ashlyn if anybody remembers. But my family actually was extremely embarrassed of me and my YouTube channel, so. <laughs> Being able to just post it on my social media now has been like a huge step for me. Especially now that I'm monetized. With or without making money, I'm still going to continue posting. I am just curious to see what the monetization process looks like and how much money you can actually make off this. Like, I'm genuinely curious. It would be nice to make money, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but that is not my main goal. My main goal is really to have fun creating content and live in my best life. Like, I am so young. I am so young. We've got this whole life in front of us. And the fact that we get to travel this young full time, I am extremely grateful for my boyfriend because without my boyfriend working remote and having his own business, this would not be happening. Him working remote and having his own business actually gives me the cushion to not have a job and be able to focus on this. Thankfully, because while he was building his business, I was supporting us as a couple. So now it's his turn to support us as a couple, you know? We're in this forever, we in this for life. <laughs> but anyways, I just want to keep having fun, being more authentic on my camera. Authenticity for me is like a big one. Like I really, really just want to be myself because for so many years I tried to like fit into this idea of who I thought other people wanted me to be. Like I am enough just as I am. I will show up just as I am and if people like it then great but not everybody's gonna like me. And that's really something that I have to be okay with. Putting myself out there is kind of scary but I am overcoming it day by day. And I genuinely do see a future with content creation for myself. Like I know it is in my blood. Once you become a YouTuber, you never really stop. You never really lose it. Like in seventh grade, I was grinding. I was grinding out one or two videos every single week. And all I had in the seventh grade was an iPad and I was grounded most of the time. Like my parents genuinely did not support me. If they would have supported me, I wonder how different my life would have been. But at the same time, I don't regret anything because everything happened exactly how it was supposed to. And now I am here, starting over, starting fresh, farthest I've ever gotten, being monetized. And I'm just trying to have a good day today. So thank you guys for listening to this little rant. Um, for the rest of the day, like I said, I have to instruct my class. I really don't want to do this laundry. And then also we have to go to my boyfriend's mom's house and hang out with the fam for a little while. I might not record that, but I'm gonna have a good day. Honestly, as I watch this recording over, I need to take note of how I feel about myself. My teeth are an insecurity for me, probably my biggest insecurity. I've never really cared about it as much as I do now watching myself talk on camera. When I was in the first grade, I was at the water park with my grandma going down one of those big water slides that gives you the inflatable to ride down. For some reason at that age, I thought it would be a fun idea to get off the floaty and I ended up on my stomach going down the slide. Somewhere along the line, my mouth was open and hit a ridge and I lost half of my front tooth. I have been dealing with half of a fake front tooth since. 
I had to have a root canal and it has fallen off a couple times needing to be redone. I was told when I turned 18 that it would probably fall off by then and I would need to have it replaced with a cap or something. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and I'm babying my tooth so that it doesn't fall off anytime soon because we don't have dental insurance. I've also really wanted to get braces, but growing up in a low-income household with a lot of siblings, of course that wasn't going to happen. I would have enough money to do it now, but getting into traveling, I'm unsure how the braces regimen would work. For now, I just need to learn to embrace my flaws. Everything went well. It was a really good class. I'm really glad that I took the time last night to plan it out. We went and got these drinks, but they're not good enough. They didn't add enough flavor in them. It's okay though, because we're staying positive with the strawberry syrup. We just got back from hanging with Zane's family. I'm gonna make a brownie because we still have some leftover brownies from last night. And since I actually gave them time to cool, it's actually giving brownie. You see? Mmm. That brownie is so good. You should definitely follow that recipe. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my night and I'll see you tomorrow. back from my class and it went really well I am extremely exhausted though so I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner tonight we're having porcupine meatballs with baked potatoes and a vegetable because you should always have a vegetable with your meals Tonight for dinner, I am making a little something called porcupine meatballs. I found this recipe online like way back when, when I was in elementary school. I vaguely remember because one time I made them with crunchy rice because I didn't think to cook the rice. I swore that's what the recipe said, but it was wrong. So now I just use one of those quick rice packets and an egg mixed with about a pound or however much you want of ground beef. You form those into little balls and line a pan. And then I just throw some barbecue sauce on top of it. In this video, I watered down the barbecue sauce and I honestly don't recommend doing it. I do recommend this barbecue sauce though. Those ingredients are so clean and you can get this at Walmart for like $4. But anyway, so just put barbecue sauce on top of all the meatballs, I sprinkled it with parsley, and then you just cook it until it's done. I was feeling lazy tonight, so I just took some potatoes, wrapped them babies in tinfoil, and threw them in the oven as well. I know once we move as well, the kitties are not going to be able to free roam like they are here, so I am getting them used to their box again, their little outdoor kitty city. Learning to cook for yourself is super important, especially having those staple meals that you know you can rely on and that will always be tasty. What are some of your staple meals? Leave it in the comments, I would love to try it. One thing I'm gonna try my best to make sure of this upcoming summer is to not let my laundry pile get this big. Like, when it gets this big, it just looms over me and then I know I have to fold it and put that work in to get it all put away. So my new goal for this summer is to keep up on my little washer and dryer. <music> It's moments like these that remind us why we are here. Taking the time to slow down and cook outside was exactly what our souls needed. 
It felt like a date night with a wave of excitement knowing that this is what our life is going to look like all year as we chase the sun. Freedom like this feels so surreal. I take a deep breath in as I remember to enjoy these moments now as we build up to leaving. The journey is far more fruitful than the destination. I'm scared, happy, sad, anxious, and exhilarated all at the same time. This range of complex emotion is just flowing through me as I search for this deeper understanding of what my life is supposed to look like. I'm grateful to be taking the untraditional path and seeing where it leads us. What is happiness? Why are we here? How far deep into myself can I go? What am I scared of? What are we waiting for? Thank you.